as a solo circumnavigation for charity has ended miserably for one sailor and his canine sidekick. Shipwrecked, Willie Phantom isn't down and out just yet, and like all good sailors, he has an incredible tale to tell. Shipwrecked at Misery Bay. It's been a bad week for Willie Phantom in a life that hasn't been smooth sailing. I've been living on my own since 11 years old, on and off out of state ward homes, refuges and that sort of thing. Willie was born outside of marriage. His mother struggled to raise him. The only dad he ever knew was his mum's ex-husband. He was struggling back then in the 70s too, single father, that sort of thing. And I, I, I feel for the man because I would have been a constant reminder of that betrayal, but he didn't ill-treat me. He treated me with love and respect, so I was very grateful that, you know, I had I at least had him. But most of his early life was spent in state care. The sea was an escape from his troubles and anxiety. For the last three years, Willie's been at peace. It taught me independence and self-reliance. I don't have that on land. Here I am now in South Australia three years later, circumnavigating Australia. He bought the SV Skis with a surprise inheritance from the mother he barely knew. Never had much to do with my mum, so the, the blessings are that she gave me a second chance in life, and it's only, it's only right that I do the right thing with that opportunity. At the beginning, a struggle with no experience in sailing, but as I grew into it, I'll never, ever go back to land because it was such a wonderful thing. It gave me so much that I've never had on land. Hey, everybody in Facebook world, Willie Phantom here on SV Skis with an excitable Captain Mischief. Come here, Captain Mischief. Willie wanted to share his good fortune, raising money to help disabled sailors. Isn't that beautiful? six months into his voyage around Australia, Willie's home and his dreams ran aground. I was caught in big swells. I kept getting pushed closer towards land. And then once the wave breakers came in, well, it was all over then. I was stuck on the boat being smashed up against the rocks. I couldn't leave the boat. Willie was able to activate his emergency beacon. At one point there, I was concerned, am I going to get killed? How am I going to get off this? Is anyone going to come to my... Am I able to get anyone to come to my aid sort of thing? So it was a very scary moment. At low tide, Willie and his loyal sidekick, Captain Mischief, could disembark and scramble to safety. When I saw the chopper coming down to save me, I was wracked with emotion. Tears were starting to well up in the eyes and, and, and the anxieties were kicking in, but, but the entire relief factor of knowing that they're here, they're there, everything's going to be OK, was... I can't describe the feeling other than it was very much overwhelming and, 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 and I was very grateful. Fragile and emotionally drained, Willie's relying on the generosity of Port Lincoln locals, but he admits he's up the proverbial creek. Basically, yeah, with the paddle, <laughs> without the boat. That is my home. I'm homeless. I've got nowhere to go. I'm on the, I'm on the, at the moment, on the graces of the community services here in Port Lincoln, which is wonderful and thank you, but I'm taking away services from other people that may need it and I've lost my independence and, and my home and and it gave all that all that, that came with the yacht was purpose, direction, focus, security. These days it's hard for him to be optimistic. Willie's yacht is beyond repair, balanced precariously on the rocks in a remote part of SA's Air Peninsula. And I'm freaking out a bit because I don't cope well on land. I'm agoraphobic and I suffer acute anxieties and I'm trying my best to not let them kick in. With a team of volunteers, Willie's trying to salvage what he can. What are we gonna do? We're gonna open this hatch. I'll get in there. Oh, my heart goes out to him. His story is, is absolutely unique. He should be an inspiration to a lot of people to get out there and do things, and I think he is an inspiration. Sadly, Willie realises they aren't the first ones here. Well, I was hoping to find my stuff untouched. Turns out people have been in there and stole things. They've taken my harness, they've taken my power tools, they've taken my tool kit. But he's doing his best to remain positive, confident that at least his beloved Captain Mischief is by his side. She's attuned to my, my emotional needs. We communicate on, an, on a level where we both understand each other. So when I'm depressed, she keeps me smiling. She'll put both her paws around my neck and give me a proper hug if I need one. I need to get back on the water, yeah. I'm, I'm striving to get back on the water. That's where I need to be. That's my home. That's my independence. 
What an amazing guy. You know, Willie didn't actually want us to do that story because he believes that there are so many people in the world doing it so much tougher than him. But when you look at what happened to his boat when people started looting, they took his power tools. I mean, these yeah. are his only possessions in the world. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. the insurance situation is just... I mean, it's incredible. So he had insurance, but because he was sailing, the policy wasn't registered for that, so they're not going to pay out. Just because he, like, I get there's fine print and things like that, but, I mean, come on. Has yeah. someone fall through the cracks like that? Yeah. yeah. I do yeah, like from it as well what that man was saying about how, Willie, at least he can inspire others to get out there and do stuff, even when yeah. you're constantly, constantly being set back. Yeah. But at least Captain Mischief is with him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you have been inspired by Willie's story and you'd like to help him and Captain Mischief find a new home on the water and continue their fundraising endeavours, you can find the link to their GoFundMe page, which we insisted upon, <laughs> on our website.